Vamos. I love you too. Yes, guys, this Thursday I am going to Botswana. I am coming to Botswana this Thursday. It is happening. Where is he based? He's in Brooklyn and Pretoria. Let me pin your address. What's your address? 861. That's just my I can't pin it now. No, it's fine. I will. I'm gonna I'm gonna share it when I post it, ne? If I pin it now and <laughs> yeah. No, I'm gonna share his address or his location when when I'm when 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 we when we're done. Yeah. But he's amazing. I want you guys to see his process and how he does it. The funny chef, we wanna see it too. <laughs> The way I'm so stingy, I don't want people to to steal my nail tag. I'm kidding. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Why do people always say, "Are you and Mitch in good times?" I don't understand that question. What do you mean, "Are you and Mitch in good times?" Why? Like, I saw it the other day when I was in. When I was live on TikTok, people were like, where is Mitch? What's happening with you? Why? Who said what to you? Did you see any post that said we are not in good terms? Did you see the post on my page? Did you see the post on um, Mitch's page? Why? Why are you asking that question? I don't understand. Please help me understand that question. Oh, yes. I am going to interview the funny chef, Vele. The funny chef must come. <laughs> okay, but I have to ask her nicely. <laughs> because we're working. But we haven't seen you and Mitch together. Yes, because we're working, guys. Mitch is always booked. You see, he posts all the time. That is booked somewhere. I'm also posting wherever I am. We can't be together all the time, guys. We're adults. We have bills to pay. I can't always be with Mitch. And you can't always be with me. Mitch is his own brand. I am my own brand. We are just friends. I am ready for Deb in July. I saw Tira posted something today, guys. I think I think the tickets are available, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I think you guys can start buying the tickets. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, but I saw he posted something about um about deb in july so yes we are going i'm ready hello young puppy <laughs> we are waiting for your cake's live video i'm waiting for it too <laughs> mish and Yolanda are good but they are working guys thank you na lady boom boom it's still egg what Hi, you guys are mean now. That's not nice. You can't say that about someone, please. Yes. People didn't choose some of the things they have, so you can. I also have Vita Ligo. So now you are going to say, cow is still angry. Hey, that's mean. Don't speak like that, please. Also, we need another episode with you and Liam. I need another episode of me and Liam. Yelena, please take me lay by force to your podcast i must go knock right i need to get her address and go knock at her door when she opens i pull her i agree with you um what did bravo say i didn't say any i didn't say anything that bravo said let's not be rude na nina yeah no they can't now talk about someone's i uh, you know guys these people are human beings ne? Even if you hated them in the house, out here we are still human, we have feelings. And you can't say anything and and expect us to laugh about it. No. It's wrong and wrong must be addressed. <laughs> yeah, it must. Thank you. Delete Wheelie. Like truly speaking. No, I'm not deleting. Why must I delete Wheelie? I feel like a lot of people didn't understand that that was a game. Guys, Big Brother is a game. 
right? I was also not a saint in that house. People would sleep and I would wake up and say, that is torture, you know? So they, some of them had to hate me because I was making it difficult for them to like me. So big brother, it's a game. What we need to do out here is to understand how one was playing the game the way they were playing it and get to understand and know them better in a different level outside the house. So you guys can hold on to that. I have let it go, Mus. Are you going to invite Ghost? Yes. Are you going to invite Lerato? Yes. Are you going to invite Pali? Yes. Are you going to invite Mile? Yes. Who else did you guys ask about? Hey, I don't know why people are angry. Like, Mina, when I went to Big Brother, I thought Big Brother was a game. I didn't think people take things personally like that, guys. Yo! I am gonna invite you else. Yes. Juicy on your podcast. Okay. Neo must come. Yes, Neo must. But I feel like Neo, she's a very private person, eh? I'll invite her. I'm not saying I won't, but I feel like she's private. I don't think, I don't see her as that person who's gonna go and address the issues on a public platform. I, I don't see her that person, like that person. I'm not saying Taiki was wrong for doing it. It, it, it is, it was his decision. He wanted to do it, but I don't see Neo like that. And I wouldn't want to force her into saying things she don't want to say. If I invite Neo, it will be up to Neo if she wants to talk about that. Hi, Lindella. We're waiting for you to come to my podcast. Lindile, why am I saying Lindel? To the request, guys. Do you know that I know Lindile from before the ultimate? <laughs> yes, everyone wanted two million and they did anything to the money. Yeah, I agree with you. It's just that I have to remove my, I have to take back my nails again. Yeah, Neo and Meg Jr. I think they that's why they were friends. I think they are they are they are similar, yes. When I invite Neo Shem, I promise you it will be up to her if she wants to talk about that or not. Because at the same time. Yes, Lindy Le, we're waiting. <laughs> Hi there. Yeah, because you can't just you know we're human beings. I mean, I believe in human than a lot of things. I think that's my issue with a lot of people because people feel like people feel like, eh, hey, Yolanda, you should have done this to do this, do this to get this, do that to do that, do this to do that, and that's not me. For me to be like, for example, what made me relevant dish i think in the houses because in most cases i was myself so it was easy for me to do a lot of things same because i was not performing same as with the podcast i'm gonna be me and i know when i'm myself it's going to help my podcast not to not to what it's english run away <laughs> it's gonna help me to be consistent yes because at the same time, when you have a YouTube channel and you have a podcast, you have to be consistent for you to stay in the game. That is why McG said it's not for bo for young girls and young boys. <laughs> it separates men from kids, he said. So that is going to determine whether I'm a man or I'm a kid. No, he was not talking about me. I'm not saying he was talking about me. I'm saying that's what he said. Um, pod, like there's so many podcasts that came and go. That's what he meant. So podcast separates kids from men. So if you're a man, you remain. And if you're a kid, you'll throw in the towel and run. Yeah, well? <coughs> Oh, Lindy, 
do you forgive Willie for saying all the awful things? Yes, I do. I do. You need to also forgive people that said awful things about you, my love. You're going to live long. Because you don't live holding grudges. Hey, but now you're the one that's uh, living in pain. If you are living holding grudges. Mm. Invite Tabang. Tabang? Tabang! Oh, Tabang! Oh, and I did like Tabang when he was still in Titans because he was trending. I think I saw him trending or something. Yeah. I like Tabang. Tabang and Kosi were my favorite. And then Kosi won. Amazing. Uh, whew, I want to sit properly. I think this chick is. Mm, sorry, my love. Okay. Hmm? Don't be an ace. Right? Oh, I must put this inside. Okay. Um, mm, ignore such questions. Sometimes I feel like explaining, my love. So, if I feel like explaining something, I will. I, sh I thought I was the only one who didn't get enough. No, I do ignore silly questions. It's just that some silly questions need to be addressed. You know. I must try wigs so i used to wear wigs i do wear wigs sometimes but i prefer my short hair so this is me one day i went out with my friend and i was wearing an afro wig because i like afro wigs I like i like kelly afro wigs i don't like the straight ones uh, i don't know i like afro kelly wigs ne? so i went to a club with my friend the other day before big brother and then we were dancing we were dancing and then we were drunk. I removed it because I was burning. So I removed it there. So the next time we went out again, Nana was like, hey, oh, don't put a wig on. If you're going to put it this wig on, you have to remove it now before we get, because I'm not going to be in a situation where people are looking at us because you removed a wig. So that's the thing about, that's the issue I have with wigs. They become hot for me and I feel like removing it. And, I and now I cannot just remove it because I'm going to try and do Imagine I'm somewhere and I feel hot and I remove it because I'm used to removing it. And then boom, I'm trending. You never remove the wig. You understand? I'll forget that now I'm going to trend if I remove and I'm going to remove it. And people are going to have that moment. So yeah, ish. But I'm going to try a wig. I'm going to wear a wig and try and stay with it for long. But I promise you, your only fires don't kill me because I'm going to remove it when I feel like it's burning me. I promise you. I'm gonna go to the toilet and remove it. I'm gonna come back like this. And if I trend, how I trend. <laughs> okay. Uh, 